Hello everyone, welcome to the Bug Expert channel. In this video, we will talk about solutions for friends who encounter GTA 5 failed initialization error. This error is usually caused by overclocking the graphics card. Of course, we may encounter such an error not only because of this problem, but also because of many other problems. For this, we will try to solve the problem by telling you a few suggestions. Before we show you solutions, we will briefly talk about the forum. You can forward various errors you encounter to the community on the forum portal we have opened. For this, if your problem continues or if you encounter a different problem, you can get a quick response by sharing it on the forum portal. We care about your questions and suggestions. If you have overclocked the graphics card, you may encounter such a problem. For this, you can eliminate the problem by lowering or restoring the operating frequency of your graphics card. Run MSI Afterburner. Set the core clock and memory clock options to zero under the clock main heading in the program. After this process, save the process by clicking the confirmation icon below. After performing the process, run the GTA 5 game and check if the issue still persists. In such continuity problems, we may encounter an update error on the graphics card. For this we will need to update the graphics card. Download the graphics card driver and perform the installation process by reaching the appropriate link we left in the article. Check if the driver update is available by running the program you installed. If a new update is available, download the update file and perform the installation. Then restart the computer and check if the problem persists. The lack of game frameworks on your computer can create various errors in the game. Therefore, your computer must have DirectX, .NET Framework, VC Readist applications. For this, you can download the libraries by accessing the links in the article. After installing the framework libraries, let's run the DirectX setup file and perform the extraction process. After performing the extraction, continue the installation process by running the DX setup program. After the process is complete, you can restart the computer and check if the problem persists. Yes, in this video we have provided information on how to fix the GTA 5 failed initialization error. If you are encountering various errors, you can reach the community with your questions by accessing the forum portal we have opened. By supporting us, we can expand our community. Thank you.